Hey guys, good afternoon. It's around now, it's probably one, one o'clock in the afternoon. I worked a 12 hour shift last night, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and <laughs> I just drove four hours up to Potter County. I'm on the first fork of the cinema honing. I have never ever been here. My buddy has a cabin up here. He invited me up here for a couple days, so I took him up on the off offer. And uh, he is just entering, well, he just crossed the stream down there, okay? And um, I guess the stream that was stocked last Thursday. And uh, so we're gonna give it a shot. He was here last night. He said he was just banging them like crazy last night. And he hasn't been out yet today. He waited for me to get up here. So, um, Freshly stocked fish, you know. And, you know, I can't say that they're easy or hard yet, but um, uh, we're going to use the tractors today. Last night he was using mop flies and just killing it. Okay, so I am putting on a green chartreuse mop fly. I'll show it to you, and then I'm using a waltz worm with a uh, fluorescent orange collar on it with a gold bead. So let me put you on my hat here. We'll get started right away and uh, show you the flies and we'll take the first couple casts out okay here we go okay shoe oh look at that i said oh we'll just get down here caught up in the tree already okay so there's my mop fly okay Got, that one has a gold bead on it and a black collar. And then my waltz worm here. It is a big one, about size 12. Okay. And uh, so let's get these wet first. And uh, I have, other than the uh, bead heads that are on them, I'm not using any weight because this water is only about a foot deep. Okay. It is only about a foot deep and nice riffly water but uh actually i have to get out a little bit in the stream just to get away from these branches okay i can get a nice roll cast out there <clears throat> using my uh got my sage again out my sage um 10 foot five weight <clears throat> See how we do here on the swing. Uh, my buddy said last night he was getting them, just letting it hang, just letting it hang there. And the fish were just coming up and nipping it, and caught a bunch of them that way. So let me get out here a little bit further. Good cast. Okay. Okay, guys. I sight fished that one. He came up and he took the green mop fly. How about that? Well, not green mop fly, green weenie. He took the green weenie. <laughs> like right here. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> nice. Talk to you, bro. There you go. Nice 11, 12 inches. Okay, see if we can do that again. <laughs> okay. I got one more trick up my sleeve. <laughs> I can't get into these fish regularly doing this. I'm gonna switch over to a, my, uh, there he goes, ha, ah, there he goes. It's working. <laughs> there he goes. Another nice one. These are all around the same, 11, 12 inches. Okay. There go, guys. Ooh. Okay. Okay, guys. Just 
try out here. Boom. Move down. About 10 more yards. Oh! Oh! A fish just rose right there! <laughs> a fish just jumped right here! Yeah. So let's see. He showed himself. Boom. What? Boom. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Watch that thing, my bobber. Right there, right there. Come on, fish. Right around there. Right around there, right around there, right around there. There he goes. <laughs> he showed himself. <laughs> He's a jumper. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> he shouldn't have showed himself. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. Fresh fat fish. There's my green weenie. It's got a blue um, texturized, uh, anodized head. Okay, got that at a feather, feathercraft outfitters or feathercraft um, catalog. Okay, guys, picked one up on a little teeny weeny San Juan worm, <laughs> like an inch big, micro, a micro San Juan worm. Okay, I'll show you this. Right there. Okay. So let's keep it on. Caught him against that bank over there. Okay, guys. We got a uh, Brett's son, Dan, here. Who's uh, looks like he's got a decent one on here. Oh, you got them all with the spinner rod. There you go. Nice. Oh, it's a nice big one. Oh, yeah. Woo! There you go. Nice. Got them with a uh, MEPS. A uh, spinner, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice big fat one. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's beauty. Beautiful fat one. Okay guys. I got one of these big selective fish and I actually sight fished him. I saw him come right up and smack us. I got him on the mop fly. He sucked it right in. Okay. Let's get down closer to the water so I can net him. Okay. Get him out here. I got 4X on, so I should be able to handle them no problem. Okay. It's been tough. I got my Ice and Nikki on and the green mop fly. Nice big rainbow. He actually hit it 
One time I saw him, I threw it back in, he came right over to it real slow and just sucked it in. There's a stick in the water, I gotta keep this fish away from the stick! Oh, he's a, get away from that stick. <laughs> Okay, come on, fishy. Oh, 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 oh. He's a fighter. A big fighter. Keep him in here. Drag him over. Okay. Come on, come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Oh, look at that. Uh poundage. <laughs> this is poundage. Oh my gosh, look at that. Gorgeous. See that green mop fly? Woo-hoo! These are about 19, 20 inches. Okay. Okay, guys. I'll clear that can calm down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to get let him out. Okay. Guys, there's some fish rising out here, but they're kind of scattered. A few of them that are going for some uh, stoneflies that are skittering on the surface. So I got like a black by visible, um, but it's like half the body. And I tied it up, size 18, 1816, I think it's a 16. And I'm gonna let it go down and see. Oh, there's one just rose right over there. Let's go after him. Boom. Watch that go down. Coming down. Oh, it's a little bit closer to me. Come on, come on, take it, take it, take it. Even if it even if it skitters across the surface, it gets dragged. It's not that bad for stoneflies. Boom! That wind's blowing it upstream, though. Right there, right there. He, oh, it's a little bit over. Boom! That's it. That right there. There he goes. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> I put it right on him. I actually had to throw downstream of him because the wind blew it upstream right over top of his head. So I aimed downstream of him. I dropped it perfect. See if he'll come up again. I, I kind of stung him, so I don't think he's going to come up again. Hey guys, I finally got one of these guys. They were splashing, but they're taking a merger. I got this one on a black soft tackle. Okay. So let me show you this boy here. Watch my hand. Black soft tackle. Okay. <laughs> even clip off my tag. Okay. It's a black soft tackle with a little gold rib. Okay. So that's what I got this guy on. Let's see if I can keep it on. Hey guys. I put a size 20 hairs your soft tackle on. So let's see if I swing that down in front of them. They take that. Come on, fishy. There you go. Oh, missed him. Ah, he took it. Come on, fishy. There he goes. Got him. Look at that. Here's your soft tackle. Just swinging it down right to him. Okay. How about that? I'll show it to you. It's gonna be wet though. Okay. 
Come here, come here, buddy. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, this, this fish is feisty. Feisty, feisty, feisty. Okay, there you go. And a soft tackle right inside of him. Okay, there it goes, fish. And there's the soft tackle right there. Okay. Got a little sparkle in it. Okay. Let's see if I can fluff it up for you. Okay. So let's see if they'll go after it again. Okay. Okay. Put it right out there. Let's just float down to them. Right there. Come on, come on, come on. Go down there. Oh, nope, not yet. Let's get this one. Oh, had him. Stung him. Oh, got him. Ha ha. Look at that. There you go. And the hair's here, soft tackle. How about that, guys? Okay. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Just using one fly, swinging it down to him. Okay, let's try this again. I was keeping you guys on. Boom. Okay, let's swing right down to him. Nope. Put it out there. Boom. Got to go down again. Swinging it right in front of him. Oh, got him. There he goes. Okay. So now I got the ticket. Now I got the ticket. Size 20, here's your soft tackle. There you go. Okay. That is right. I cut it around. Okay. Be right back. Let's try this again. Let's put it right out there. See, swing it right down to him. Come on, just swing it, swing it, swing it. Super slow swing. Okay, so it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, okay, there you go, oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know where they went. Oh, there's a couple. Let's see where these guys are at. Get a cast out here. Go a little bit out further for them. Anything? There he is. There he is. There he is. You're doing good, guys. Look at that. He's got one over there, too. He's using a spinner rod. Okay. He caught a bunch of them on the spinner already. 
So we're fishing here together, spin fishermen and fly fishermen. We can all get along. Swing it back downstream. There it goes. Starting to swing. It's right in front of me. There he goes. Got him. There he goes. A swing. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. There he goes. Okay. That's still on that hair's ear soft tackle. I see a couple of these uh, nymphs, actually a, it, it's like a floating nymph, crawling on the surface. The wings aren't out yet, I'm pretty sure then that's what they're eating too. Oh, there he goes. Got him, look at that. Just now I was about to change, he whacked it. He whacked it. Okay. Try again. Let's go. Go down. Swinging it. Swing it. Swing it. There he goes. There he goes. Man, he whacked that one. Most of them were soft tapes for this one. Man, he whacked this one. Oh, ha <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> I show you my leg here. <laughs> Look at all these stone flies crawling all over me. There's two different sizes. There's like a size 20 and then a size like 16, 14, 16. See them all? So that's what we're trying to imitate. Okay? Okay. Guys, this is a size 18 stone fly wonder wing style. Okay, it's called a wonder, wonder wing. Show you the underside of it. Okay. Uh, it's tied with a partridge hackle. And, um, eh, just look it up. Wonder Wing style. Okay. Ah, come on. Get out here. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. See if we can get something on the surface. Right here. Oh. Okay, there's one's floating down. Floating down. Come on. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, he didn't want it. <laughs> Come on, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. There you go. Oh, no. Jeez. He didn't want it. Boom. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fishy. Oh, boy, I'm not fooling him. Ha <laughs> ha. Nope, definitely not fooling him. Boom. Let's see. Come on, here comes one. Nope. Oh well. I know what doesn't work. <laughs> I know what doesn't work. Man. Can you believe that? Let that go down. Try that. There he goes. Oh! Missed him. Boom. There you go. Come on. Go down, 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 go down. Oh, I'd like to catch one fish on this. Come on, give me a stupid fish. I'll take a stupid one. Boom. Come on, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. There he goes. Got him. Okay. Finally, I missed him. 
missed the bunch on top. Not this boy. On the wandering stonefly. hook that came out super easy hey everybody we got one of the big boys here Brett's got him what do you think you got him on oh nice one Oh yeah. Got the San Juan worm. Got the San Juan worm. San Juan or squirmy wormy? Squirmy wormy, squirmy okay. <clears throat> okay everybody. Get a little bit closer. There you go, man. Big boy, big boy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh yeah. And Brett caught one like this downstream earlier. I wasn't with him though to see it. Have it on film, but it's bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that boy. Oh, yeah. He, he, I don't know if he swallowed, he definitely got it in his mouth. Yeah. Nice. No, I, I saw it. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's here. It's on the left side of his. Yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful, beautiful. So your reel doesn't have a clicker either. No. Okay, you got them silent. I like the clickers. Yeah, <laughs> and you I know do. what's going on. <laughs> well, I, I like that sound, yeah. Yeah. And I don't like that furled needle sound when you guide. <laughs> no uh, comment. <laughs> well, Mr. Furled Needle. Yeah. No, I like that. Yeah, they're placed. I'm, Back out of your way a little yeah, bit. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna get on this side of you. After he gets in, I'll take your rod from you. There he is, peeps. Nope. Don't like the looks of that. <laughs> Are you using 4X? Yeah. Yep. Okay, peeps. No, five X. You got five on. Oh, I'm playing them careful. Now you, you don't have the mono rig on. No. Oh, you have the furled leader on. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's right there, though. He's right there. Oh, he got your, he got your squirmy wormy back. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, that was a quick release. That was even a bar okay, we, we made a little, little bit of a movie star out of him. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Cool. Okay. Brett's getting into him down here. And, uh, I changed my rig up, guys. I'm using an indicator because I have deep, slow water in front of me kind of hard to detect strikes in that kind of water and um, so I'm just going to see how it goes with it <clears throat> just watching that orange indicator out there yeah I still got it 
stoneflies crawling through my hair all over me. Real slow. See, that's tough to detect hits like that. That's one situation where I will use an indicator. Okay. Okay, it's back up. See if I can get something on film here for you. You're oh, I got one too. I didn't see it. I was watching you hook up. Let's see what we got him on. Says I got. I don't have any attractors on, guys. I put um, a caddis larva and a soft tackle on, and I got him on my caddis larva. There he is. I'll show you the caddis larva. Olive body, a regular olive body. Actually, it's light, but when it looks wet, it looks a little darker. So this is an olive body. It's got a rib of a fine gold rib. It's got some CDC to make it look like a partial emerger. And dark collar on it, and it has a glass bead that's about a size 14. Okay? It's about a size 14. And then I still have on my Hairs Ear Soft Tackle. Okay, right there. Okay. <laughs> so, I wasn't paying attention. We were watching Brett bring in his fish. <laughs> this guy whacked it. So let's guys in the silhouette. <laughs> yeah. On the mop fly. The green mop fly. <laughs> this guy was just lucky. I was turning. I had my line floating downstream. I was turning around to. Uh, I changed my position. And he whacked it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wash on the green mop fly. Okay. Okay, guys. New spot here on the swing. On a grainy weenie, <laughs> picked up one. Okay, let's take a look at this. Show you my grainy weenie. Okay, cookie cutter rainbow, at eleven inches. Okay. Nice blue head. I don't know. I just have luck with blue head. That's why I tie them on. I caught this one in the middle of the drift. I don't know what I got it on. It feels like a decent fish. Feels like a decent fish. Uh, uh, oh, he's not on the green weedy. Oh, it's one of those big ones. Yeah, I think so. So uh, below the green weenie, I have a dark hair's ear caddis. 
because there is an early and small size 1820 there is um the early black caddis the chamara caddis that's coming off and um uh, maybe it's not that big and then i have um um a size 20 hairs ear soft tackle so oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know which one this is on okay and the stone flies are going to start coming off pretty soon got to be careful because I put 5x on because most of these fish that I caught were like 11 12 inches so I can't I really can't horse this bugger in I got 5x on uh well let me just see oh this is on the soft tackle the hair's your soft tackle and it looks like a brownie it is yeah yeah nice brownie it looks like it's about probably 15 16. nice yeah yeah and he was in that fast water you think so yeah maybe 17 16 17. Uh, about 16 i think just fat those fat ones. <laughs> there you go, guys. Oh, I got it. I'll tell you what. I don't know if he's wild or, um, I mean, I know this was freshly stocked, but he doesn't, he has some dull coloring and he has some beautiful fins. Out nice. yeah, yeah, beautiful fins. So, let's see. Oh. Oh. Well, his, his, um, see his fins? They're perfect. Yeah. They're really big too and he doesn't have a ton of dots. Let me, let me get a picture of him. Yeah, let me put him in the water here. Peeps. Okay. He does not have a lot of color to him unless he's a holdover or something. I don't know, but he's, um, He's too pretty. Yeah. Okay, guys. Picked up another one here now. And this one feels like a nice one, too. He's either on the caddis pupa or the soft tackle again. Uh, looks like about 15. I'd swear I caught the same fish. <laughs> That's another brownie. Yeah. I would say that's pretty much unlikely, <laughs> but oh no! Well, I don't know yet. Maybe it is a rainbow. I can't see. No, it's a brownie. But this one is distinctly different. It has a lot more dots on it. Yeah, nice brownie. Good 15. 15, 16. And this one's on the caddis pupa. Now, this one's just stock. This one's shaped like a football. But it's got, boy, it's got white. Maybe not. Look at the white tips on the fins. Right there. And they're perfect fins. They're not buggered up. I don't know, boy. It's hard to tell. 
That could be a holdover, but I tell you what, I, its fins are perfect. Beautiful big fins. Huh. What the heck? There you go, Hoot. Look how big those fins are. Perfect fins and I got white chips on them. Wow, Lou. I don't know, boy. Those are nice looking brownies. Okay, people, I want to show you this caddis pupa. Okay, this is a hare's ear caddis pupa. Okay. Got a gold bead on it, size 18. And just hair's ear and then a dark collar on it and a gold bead. Okay. And here again is my hare's ear. Soft tackle. Okay, it's got a little bit of flashing. You see it flashing? With the mixed in with the uh, uh, Hungarian partridge. Okay. Okay, just wanted to show you guys that. Yeah. <laughs> Brett's getting into them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, everybody. Brent's got a nice one. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. So he's indicator fishing too, and he's got bluing dollops on. So they're hitting the bugs now, not the uh, tractors. These stockfish figuring out what bugs are. There you go. Woo. Nice. Shaped like a football. Good good 15, maybe 16, 15. Yeah. Let's get a we'll sneak in here and take a, a look see. There you go. And that one is on your what? Not, not the pheasant tail. That one's on the follow up Blueing olive. Oh, no, there it is, right there. Does it got a bead on it or no bead? Uh, most of mine do. The pheasant tail does. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll show. There you go. Can I see it? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Let me see here. We'll show the people. Show the people your nice tie. Again, I'm not pattern specific. So. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. It's like a quill body. Mm -hmm. A quill body. It's got like a charcoal bead. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go, peeps. Beautiful. Guys, this is on the the hair's ear pupa. There he is. So they're taking dark. Dark, dark, dark. There you go, peeps. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay guys, let me show you something. I'm gonna talk to you here. I'm gonna show you this rock here. Hey, look at these bugs. These are caddis you're looking at. Little black chamara caddis. But they have a little bit of green in their body too. Okay. And go over to this rock here. There's a big stone fly right next to the caddis fly. Come back a little. And bugs just okay. So stone flies are about a size 16, 14, 16 around there. Now the body's a 16, but the wings are more like a 14. Okay, you can see them all crawling around. There's a caddis crawling around. A whole bunch of them. Okay. So. Okay, guys. Man, these guys are tough to hit. You gotta let your fly hang down there for 10, 20 seconds. Or to come up and just barely taste it. Oh, look at all those sticks right over my head. Let's see if I can get this boy in. I'm going to just grab the line again. Hey, I got him. Okay. And he was on the caddis pupa. The caddis pupa with the bead head. I'm not surprised about that. Wow. Super, super soft take. Super soft take. I don't know which ones this one's on. Got clearance here. I'm underneath these trees. 
Let's see what he is on. <sighs> oh, he's on the the bead head. Here's your pupa, pupa too. Is it? Oh no, 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 no. This is on the hare's ear soft tackle. Oh, Argo. Got these bugs all over me again. And my hair, my neck. Oh well, fun part of our fly fishing. <laughs> Got to get used to flies. I missed this fish twice. I don't know if he's going to hit a third time, but we're going to see. <laughs> Come on, fishy. There he goes. Ha! I didn't think he was going to hit a third time, but he did. <laughs> Unless it was a pot of fish. And he's on the soft tackle also. also. <sighs> Let's go. There he is. Okay, guys, this is a size 20. There he goes. I'll show you the fly again. Oh, there we go. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! These fish are like, well, we're giving you every chance. <laughs> there he goes. There, I got you this time. Huh. Oh, oh, nice one. <laughs> Oh, stinkers. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, this one looks nice, about 15. Boy. And this one is on. Uh, let me see. One. Uh, this one is... Oh, there he goes. I got off. That one was on my uh, uh, olive emerger. I'll show you guys my what? Yes. <laughs> he got off of my feet. Here's my olive emerger, guys. Okay, it's actually it's olive and opal. There's an olive chenille on top, and then underneath of it is an opal wrap. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys. I'd like to catch one more fish for you before I end my day. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, fishy, fishy. Man, I got these bugs just crawling all over me. Slowly bringing it upstream, just dragging it up. I'll bring it up with my left hand too. See what we can do here. See if we can get one to whack it. Okay, I'm trying. Go back out there again, tossing it downstream, and it goes through the swing. I'll let this one come in a little closer this time, into a little bit of the calmer water. There he, there he goes, got him! Ha! Ha ha! <laughs> you stinker, stay on, stay on for the people. I got 
twigs above me. There he is. He is on that uh, olive emerger. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, there he goes. That's okay. Okay. So, spin this around. Okay, guys, that is it for me. I had two half days up here on one full day. Caught a bunch of fish and um, some big ones, you know, a bunch of uh, cookie cutouts, but super fun. Challenging, though. It was slow takes. This is very, very unusual. Um, fishing up here just if the water was cold the fish were not very active they fought great though once you caught them they fought great and um uh so um this is the first fork of the cinema honing and um delayed harvest uh artificial lure only section and great day great great three days up here okay and um i just want to thank my buddy brett for inviting me up and um I'm sure I'll be up again. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Okay, bye.